What's going on, everybody? Uh, we're coming back at you with uh, the first episode of the new installment of Two Minute Tuesdays. Right. And uh, one big topic that has been talked about a lot in the mortgage industry lately and has been uh, the idea of forbearance. And there are some misconceptions about what that actually means. So we just want to take a minute and uh, clarify that for you guys. So what forbearance is, it's an agreement between um, a borrower and a lender where they agree not to foreclose on the home, on your home. Um, if you miss payments, they can even defer payments or uh, take a reduced payment as an option to help you get back on your feet. Um, a lot of us have fallen on hard times with this pandemic. So um, some banks are offering forbearance. And there are a couple different options when it comes to the end of whatever your forbearance period is. And uh, Patrick can tell you a little bit more about that. Yeah, so definitely a lot of people are thinking that uh, forbearance equals forgiveness, which uh, it does not. Um, so after your, your forbearance period has ended, um, there are a few ways, like Zach said, that you can pay it back. If you qualify, most of the time they're gonna require a one-time payment. Um, so there's one-time payment, there's a repayment plan, which means they just add the total amount over six months or eight, however many long you agree to, to your mortgage, they add the difference, or they add the total up into small payments. Or what they can do is they remodify your loan, so either your interest rate goes higher, or um, that's basically it. But the most common way they do it is what's called a reinstatement. So that means that every month that you didn't pay is all due at once. So let's say your mortgage payment is a thousand dollars, and you go into forbearance period in January. So you have January you didn't pay, February you didn't pay, March you didn't pay. Let's just you know. And April is the month that your forbearance period ends. So that's $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 that you didn't pay, plus your April payment of $1,000, which means you're going to owe $4,000 in April um, to the mortgage company. Um, forbearance is honestly can be worse if the amount owed accumulates for too long. And if this does happen, the lender will enforce their right to be paid. And if you don't pay them, they can ultimately foreclose on the home and take your home, take your home, excuse me. Um, forbearance is designed as to, as a last resort, you know, but we do not recommend, um, you know, you not make your payment if you can. At least try to make some kind of payment is what yeah, we always I mean, recommend. Yeah, so the whole point of this two minute Tuesday, the whole topic is we've had a lot of people ask and forbearance is, that's basically what it is. Um, you know, it could be really helpful, but our main, uh, our main issue, our main thing to you guys is call your mortgage company and make sure that you fully understand what the, um, you know, what the options are. Yep. Just don't get yourself into a sticky situation once this is uh, all over. We want you guys to have uh, as much information as possible. If you guys have any questions about it or need more, you know, in-depth information, give us a, you know, shoot us a message, text us. Call us, you know, we can connect you with the right um, people who can help with more information. Absolutely. Well, hope you found this uh, helpful. And like Patrick said, let, please feel free to reach out if uh, you have any questions. Take care, guys. Okay. Yeah. See you all next week.